Hi, this is Paula from CA Tuni. Today we have an interview with Karen Terrio from Feed Nova Scotia. To address challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, the charity started a program to deliver free food to those who need it. You can call 211 toll free and the operator will try to get you in contact with a local program that could help. If there isn't, Feed Nova Scotia will send you a box of non-perishable food to your door. Food insecurity was a problem in this province even before the pandemic. According to the last available numbers from 2018, Nova Scotia had the highest percentage of food insecurity among all the provinces, with 15% of households living with some degree of food insecurity. That's about one in six. Closer to home, Cape Breton has some of the highest child poverty numbers in Nova Scotia, with more than one in three children living below the poverty line. To give us more information about the Feed Nova Scotia Food Box program, here's Karen Terrio. Uh, so Feed Nova Scotia, we're a registered charity that operates across Nova Scotia. And um, our mission is to increase food security through three key pillars, food distribution, education, and collaboration. And the food distribution piece is a part of our work that I think we tend to be most known for. Um, and our role in that regard is to act as a central point of distribution for food for a network of 140 food banks and shelters and meal programs right from one end of the province to the other. Uh, so we have 16 agencies that we support in Cape Breton, for example, and our truck um, loads up every Thursday with food, um, non-perishables and perishables, and we drop it off to those agencies so that they can respond and provide emergency food support in local communities. Tell me a little bit about this new program. So when, uh, when COVID-19 first hit back in the spring, we were hearing a lot of concern from people who were unable to get out to their local food banks and other meal support programs, um, partly because of fear, partly because of an inability. They had perhaps lost their transportation. We know a lot of people um, carpool and share rides with, with people. And so we introduced this short-term initiative called the Feed Nova Scotia COVID-19 Food Box Program. And the idea is that we provide home delivery of non-perishable foods as an emergency food support program to individuals who can't access food banks or other meal programs in their community. Um, so in some communities, those boxes are delivered by volunteers and community partners. In other areas of the province, they're delivered by courier through a special arrangement that we have. Um, if someone finds themselves in need of food and unable to access support in their local community, they can call in to 211, uh, which is um, a toll-free service available anywhere across the province, weekdays between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. And just talk to the phone support uh, folks there to say that they need food support, they're unable to access support in their community, and they will help to put them in touch with us at Feed Nova Scotia. And we'll then first check to exhaust all local opportunities. And if indeed there are no ways for them to get support locally, then we will um, work with them to see if we can get uh, delivery of food. And what that food looks like is um, a, they would receive a box of food kind of, you know, like this big, um, non-perishable items. Each box is intended to provide uh, non-perishable food support for up to seven days for one person. And typically a household with one individual would receive two boxes and a household with two or more people would receive four boxes. Since the program launched uh, the end of May, we've provided close to 12,000 food boxes out to 3,600 households. Um, so it really is a complementary service to the food banks and meal programs that are out there meeting need in their community every day. Do you just call? Do you need to fill a form afterwards? Do you need to provide any information? So really the first step is to call into 211. That's the, the single first point of entry and uh, they will help to provide any other options that might be available, especially during COVID-19. We've seen a lot of local community, very grassroots initiatives being set up across the province. And so they have the best information in terms of what's available at any given time. And if they feel that um, this particular food box delivery program is the right fit, then they will pass it on. And it's as simple as a phone call. Um, so there's no need to fill out paperwork, but um, our team, we have a mini call center set up and they will talk to the individual just to see uh, how best we can get the food out to them. Or to, again, sometimes it's just that the person may not realize that there is another option close by and they just weren't aware of it. 
And how often can you make the request? There are no specific um, restrictions on how often someone can receive support. So, but you do have to call every time. So it's not an automatic repeat service where once you are, if, if you would say sort of match with the program, you regularly get this delivery every week or so. Um, but if someone needs support today, and we find that this is the right program to provide support, they'll get a delivery. If they need support again in three weeks or 10 weeks, um, we encourage them to reach out again and it'll just be assessed on um, their need and circumstances and again, our ability to get the food out. How long after you make the phone call can you expect to receive the food? So it depends on um, where someone lives, how quickly they will be able to receive the food delivery. Um, it is anywhere between one to five days, depending on the geography. It is rare circumstances where it goes as far out as five days. Um, but I would say that if someone knows that they are in need or, you know, today they're looking at their situation saying, there's no way I'm going to make it past another two or three days. I have absolutely no food available. I don't have the ability to access it. Um, just call in because uh, the sooner you identify that you're in an urgent situation, the sooner we can get the support out to you. Are there any special diets, for example, if somebody has diabetes, uh, could they get special food or is it a standard? Yeah, um, certainly we recognize and would strive as much as possible um, through our food banks to be providing support for unique um, dietary considerations. But this particular program, because of the large volume of these food boxes and the, pack, the fact that they were all packed at once, they are uniform across the board. So it doesn't have the ability to meet those dietary needs. It's really more about um, getting some type of food um, as quickly as we can out to meet those emergency needs. Could you give me some examples of what's in the box? Things that would be staples in your cupboards of a kitchen. Um, so there's uh, rice, uh, pasta, uh, pasta sauce, soup, chickpeas, um, some baked beans, uh, cere there's um, oatmeal, I know for sure, um, peanut butter, <laughs> I think a couple of cans of tuna. Yeah, so it's really a combination of items uh, that are intended to provide um, sort of items from grains, uh, from some proteins, some uh, vegetables and fruits, non-perishables again. For how long is this program going to be running? When we first started the program, it was in direct response to COVID-19. And so while we didn't know how long that was going to be, I don't think any of us truly in Nova Scotia knew what we were really dealing with. Um, so it was launched on May 24th and continues to operate now. Um, we have committed until the end of March to keep the program going. And I suppose like any not-for-profit organization trying to respond to a need in the community, we'll continue to assess what is the need and what is our ability to continue to deliver. We do know that a home delivery, a centralized home delivery service isn't the most efficient way to meet needs across the province. We're a large geographic area, but at the same time, sometimes you can't just look at efficiency. We have to look at, is this meeting the needs of people who are in critical, um, a critical food situation? And so we would be considering that along the way. Where does the funding come from to buy the food? Um, Feed Nova Scotia. Outside of COVID-19, we rely entirely on the private donations we receive from the community. Everything that we do is purely by donation, whether that's donated food or donated money and donated time from volunteers. Um, in response to COVID-19, we did receive uh, significant financial support from both the provincial and federal governments um, because of the extreme circumstances around COVID-19. And so this particular food box delivery program is funded in great part by the province. Um, you may recall, or some may recall that back in the spring when the pandemic first started, the province announced a million dollars in funding for Feed Nova Scotia. And so a portion of that funding we allocated out to our member agencies across the province and a portion we use to purchase food in bulk and so that's um, most of the funding for this particular program. Is there anything that you would like to add that maybe I missed? I think that um, what's one thing that's really important to remember, because I, I said in the beginning that Feed Nova Scotia's mission is threefold. Um, if we focus on food distribution, education and collaboration. So people are hurting in our communities. Food insecurity has been a huge crisis long before COVID-19 ever reared its ugly head. And I have no doubt it will continue to be and perhaps worse so in the months and years to come as people continue to deal with the economic fallout of the pandemic. 
Um, emergency food support is critical when people need food today, but it is by no means the solution to food insecurity. And so um, we are working with government leaders and um, others in the community to try to find bigger solutions and to realize that our government officials have shown through the quick introduction of CERB that they can make a significant difference in terms of food insecurity. When people have access to the finances they need, they can meet their own food um, requirements with dignity and on their own. Charity can't be the long-term solution to an issue as complex as food insecurity. And I think it's important to highlight that anytime that we talk about food support programs is not to present it as the best solution that there is. Um, we're really committed to helping meet the need today as best we can, uh, but we need the community to speak up and to join us in letting our elected officials know that we don't want hunger in our community and we're looking to them for leadership to find bigger solutions long term. Remember you can dial 211 toll free to access this program. You can write to us at cateny.television at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.